Hey everyone, welcome to a very special episode of Drinking in Dungeons. We've got the Final Fantasy XV demo, oh, uh, episode Duske, I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not certain, actually. It's going to be a little awkward because my actual TV is set up over uh, this away, whereas my computer is over here, and I could... I tried moving my webcam from where it is to over there, didn't quite work out. So uh, you're going to see a lot of uh, this side of my face, at least for today's episode. But anyways, whoop, let me grab this. Going to make sure that we have our timer set up ahead of time this time. Because I know you guys like having longer episodes, but uh, if I want to have content to share with you guys I have got to make certain that I have a decent sized chunk of video that I can divide it into Ooh. anyways you're in luck because uh, today we're gonna do for 30 minutes rather than our usual 15 because this demo is pretty long and uh, takes a little while to get through it's gonna take us more than one episode to do, Ooh, but anyways, is um this is actually our first episode on a console system. My first time using my uh, new little little video box thing, so that's gonna be fun, lots of fun. I'm home uh, homesick with a bit of a stomach ache, so instead of uh, the usual, I've just got uh, some water in a ginger ale bottle that I finished off earlier today to calm my stomach. Anyways, enough of me blathering on. Let's get to the stuff you're really here for. Let's get started. I already played through the demo oh, earlier today. It's uh, It's got some good size to it. Took Takes up over 5 gigabytes, so I should hope that it uh, had some decent meat to it. But anyways... I'm gonna keep things, you know, kind of relaxed, kind of calm, very laid back, let the demo speak for itself. Anyways, without further ado, Final Fantasy Episode Duske. I'm gonna go ahead and start a new game. Save over previous game with new game, yes. And go ahead and start that timer from here. Anyways, when, when you've spent your entire life looking out at the sealed the serrated city skyline, it's easy to lose yourself in the sprawling dusk in the landscape. The prince and his rifa... Ritune? It's a little hard for me to actually read the text from how far away I have to sit to be on the webcam. I'm a little further back than I'd actually like to be. Anyways, on, we're halfway to count us when their daydreams came to a sudden screeching halt. The regalia's last gasp before giving out on the up um, paved back roads. Now they were full, truly lost in the landscape, broken down by the side of the road with the, with the desk will, disc will out, out of walking distance. The Archeon Titan would have, have to wait. He'd been in dormant for ages anyway. The first order of business was getting back on four wheels. Sorry, that was not at all how I wanted to read that. It's, but as I said, I'm sitting a little further away than I normally would. I'll have a better setup next time, probably. Uh, one of the things I like is that even though this loading screen seems really long, this should be the only loading screen you actually see for the whole game, unless I die or something. In which case, you're going to see another one. Anyways, there's some talking going on in this cutscene. Oh, gods. Ugh, you lazy bums. Get up. Get up. Ah, oh, they slept in their clothes. They're gonna feel gross. They're gonna feel so gross. That's an interesting design on his shirt. I just realized his jacket doesn't actually physically touch his chest. Oop, a little bit of awkward clipping on the bicep there, but otherwise looking pretty good, actually. <sighs> Will someone answer it already? Someone turn it off. Ah. Prince Lazybums over there. 
If only somebody hadn't wrecked the car. God, unbelievable. Oh, I would hate to be that guy. <laughs> Oh, come on, don't be that way. You know I didn't mean to do it. Of course not. I know his voice. Sabotage is far beyond you. Sabotage is far beyond you. It's one disadvantage. I wish that this demo came with subtitle. Because they say a lot. It's futile. Rise and shine, princess. Tremors. No, you did it. Just call me Titan. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's a nice touch. Morning there, buddy. Eyes open. And he's up. Not technically up. <sighs> Get up, you lazy bum. Not technically having our automobile repaired and... Heading to Corsus, then? No turning back now, your highness. Gotta yeah. pay his enormousness a visit. His enormousness. <laughs> Titan. Yeah. Wonder what it's like outside. Uh, I do wow. like the lighting effects in this very Couldn't well. Couldn't ask for better weather. Ah, good day for walking. Aren't We're gonna be lucky? doing a lot of that. Frame rate's looking a little strange. Hope the recording's alright. Uh, oh wow, look at that landscape. That's gonna sound wonderful on the recording, I bet. Anyways, tell you what, when this episode is over, I'll pause well and... short of the amount due, I'm afraid. We need to think bigger, like... Behemoth big. Hunting down its horns could get us the money if it doesn't get us killed. Wouldn't worry. We're as good as dead without the car anyway. <laughs> Might already be a lost cause. Hey, if yeah. Cindy says she can fix it, that's good enough for me. And since she's gone to all the trouble of servicing it nearby, we need only concern ourselves with one thing and one thing alone. The money. Simple yeah. enough. We hawk whatever we hunt till we come up with the cash, then fetch the car. That's one thing I don't like about the English voice acting, and another reason I wish that I could, you know, turn on subtitles, because, uh, Noctis and, uh, Gladio? Gladios? I'm never sure how to pronounce his name. I mean, they sound really similar er, in their voice acting. So, if you're not actually facing them, it's a little hard to tell who's talking. Anyways, let's just slowly truck our way over here. And as I was saying, when this episode is over, I'll go back and uh, check the recording. Make sure that the frame rate looks good. Knocked. What do you say we check this out? What? Nice. Hmm. Wonder what that could be. Surely it's not something convenient to the plot, like, oh, I don't know, a wanted poster for a behemoth is... Oh, it's a wanted poster for a behemoth. Dread Behemoth Deadeye sighted in nearby woods. Enter at your own risk. 25,000 gil reward for kill or capture. Well, I know what we're going to be doing. Hold up a sec. Huh? Hold up a sec. No, you hold up a sec. I don't want to watch through the t tutorial for combat. You, the tutorial's uh, really long-winded, and granted, it does take a bit of getting used to to actually successfully pull off this particular control scheme. However, once you get it, it is the simplest thing in the world. You basically... All you really need to concern yourself with is about, I want to say, five buttons total. And that's only if you want to get complicated. It Mostly you'll just be using uh, your, your left shoulder trigger for defense and your square button, or I guess it would be um, X maybe on the Xbox version? I don't know, I don't have the Xbox version. And, and to attack. And then you'll use triangle to use your super special awesome things and uh, X to warp around. And uh, oh, for a later thing you will use the 
R1 button. But uh, yeah, five button total. Ooh, that's pretty much it. Anyways, no, I don't want to train for combat. Let's get this show on the road. Yes, we read that already. Well, it's not far from here. Not far from here, he says. Not far from here, that's like, yeah. Path to Dead Eyes Den has been set as the destination. Anyways. No, no, I didn't want to read that again. Anyways, pressing the options button, I guess it would be the start button, pulls up your navigation menu where you can set your destination and to different outposts or campgrounds, which is very handy. It took me a little while to figure that out. Drive option, which we do not have right now because, uh, as forementioned, we do not have our car. Basic storyline is uh, something happened, they wrecked their car, which I guess is called the disc. I don't know. Or maybe that's the location that we're trying to get to. Anyways, they wrecked their car, they don't have one, so... Now we're trying to scratch up the gill to get our car repaired. Anyway, who's it? Oh. We're gonna go ahead and start trekking our way to the first destination point. And I'll try not to cut out all the walking, because let me tell you, I know it's boring watching me just walk at? around, but... This creature is known as a saber tusk. It skewers prey with its tusks. Extracting game from the safety and comfort of burrows. Ugh. A vicious predator or eager to make fast food of slow swinging swordsmen. Goody! Anyways, um. Oh, real quick, some drinking rules. Um, I've just got water, or if I. I don't know if I said that before or not. Anyways, drinking rules for this episode are um, every time we set up camp, take a drink, ink, recoup your. Uh, Self. Um, anytime a monster outwreck, anytime we manage to win a fight where we successfully parry a monster, take a drink for that. And um, uh, I'm racking my brain. This is actually the game's so simple. It's hard to and pretty fast paced, so it's hard to think of something that you can actually stop and take drinks for, or because that would take ick you out of the action otherwise. Um, so I guess uh, we'll start off with... Uh, actually, you know what? Revise that. If we get a parry, take a second drink. But every time we win a fight, take a drink anyways. Anyways. Oh, and anytime the tutorial stops us outright and makes us sit and wait, take a drink. Because that is one, one complaint I have the demo is uh, the tutorial is kind of for how fast-paced the combat is, how free-flowing everything is, and don't get me wrong, I love that, that that one, as I said, that one loading screen is probably the only one we're gonna see. The tutorials really kinda are jarring and interrupting. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna take a preemptive drink because my throat's a little dry. Mm. All right. That's a bit heartless. Yeah, don't think we'll be befriending any. Yep. So let's warp to him and go ahead and... Yeah! Ow. That's right. Let's try Tempest. Yeah! Suck it! Oh, then he's low. Yeah! Oh, I'll show you about how to go to swapping out the different weapons for how that works in here. Ooh, that was nice. Yay! We actually won't need to level up too much for this demo. Oh, but, uh, you know, it's still a good idea. Anyways, let's uh, pause here. This is what happens when you press down on the touchpad button on the controller. Alert. Um, go to weapons and you can freely switch around which weapons are used for which setup. For example, right now I've got Avenger as my initial assault, 
my Ravage, which is uh, basically the chains that you saw me do there after the initial blow are with the Blood Sword, which grants the special ability a Drain Blade, which uh, those are the ones that you, the techniques that you use pressing the triangle button. And, um, anyways, we got the Partisan for our Lethal Force Strike, so basically that's our finishing blow. We've got the Weavern Lance, which gives us the Dragoon Gump Jump, one of my favorite techniques in the game, aim so far, to uh, use it for counters. And for Descending Blows, I'm guessing that's if we uh, try and strike them from above. If we've got our Zweihander. We'll go ahead and switch a couple of these around. Blood Sword was pretty good for Melee Barrage, but I used it for that the entirety of my previous playthrough. So, uh, let's see. I haven't worked out what these tiers are for yet. I think maybe they're damage related? Anyways, obviously the Zweihander isn't going to swing as fast. I tried out the Parzin and, and such. Actually, you know what? We're going to go ahead and do that. Um, I kind of want to see what a finishing blow with the Zweihander looks like. And... Yeah, that... Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. We'll leave that for there for now. Anyways, we can also run by clicking the R th the L3 button. Move around a little faster. That guy is big. I have not messed with that guy yet. Anybody up for a light workout? Light workout, he says. These guys are. Look who's talking now. These guys are not nice. Sure if you guys are. Let's go ahead and piss one off. These guys actually won't attack us until we attack them. Oh, that's another thing about Noctis. Knight, notice he has uh, not nearly quite as good of stats as... Whoa, God. Okay, where's my drain blades? There we go. Ah, oh, damn. Didn't dodge. Didn't dodge that. Those symbols you saw appear around Noctis are for his parry attack. Deck dodge opportunity. Yeah. Ow. There we go. Gotcha. Nice. Hmm. Not quite as satisfying as the partisan, though. Let's see. Zweihander, let's try the Weavern Lance. Um, far as I can tell, far as I can tell, your, your weapons are divided by types. Like, the smaller blades like Avenger and Bloodsword are pretty much identical in what they do in each slot. And uh, pretty sure that the Weavern Lance and the Partisan are also identical. Speaking of which, let's see. Yeah. And Zweihander, since we don't have another two handed weapon like it. Do you guys see what I see? That's hmm. pretty much simple. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, a side quest. Let's go side questing. The side quests in the demo are really basic. Caution, marsh bit ahead. What is this place? Right. Here we are. Sure. It's like you're not sure if you're Australian or British, ish Ignis. Okay, so we're gonna change our destination to the wetlands. We're gonna go pick up that thing and get ourselves some tasty, tasty side quest experience. However, we can't actually swim through the water. There is a definite wall here that is forbidding us from getting across. So instead, we're gonna have to find a way around. We're gonna have to find some way around, and it looks like this way is gonna be faster. So let's go ahead and run around to the other side of that water there. Ah, I gotta get around this first too. Oh, and because I forgot, because we won a couple of fights there. Ah, forgive me for being kind of slacking in the uh, drinking rules. As I said, I'm got a bit of a upset stomach today and trade collectibles for gill at shops oh hello friends come here you 
I am not into wildlife. More of a pet Stop guy. moving. Fine then. Time to put up. Shut up. Wolf attack. There we go. Yeah. Okay, clear, clear. Okay, full. Yeah. So your MP is used for both your warping, your dodging, and your techniques. It's, which, I don't know how well you can see it. Uh, I'm having a little trouble on my screen because the text are pretty small. Well, from my perspective. But, basically, your MP goes down every time you warp, use a technique, or dodge. Dang it, I'm swinging at the air entirely too much in this fight. Come here, you. Die, die, die! Yeah! What can I say? Okay. Hold still, you. Stop trying to run away. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what happens when you run out of MP. Okay, now I'm entirely out of MP and I've hit. Uh, I forget what it's called. Sorry. I know, I know, it's like right there next to my head, but I can't read it from this distance. No use hanging around here. I think it's called stasis or something. Anyways, basically, if you run out of MP, you are no longer able to dodge, you can't warp around, and you can't use any of your techniques. Obviously, because those are all, all things that cost MP. But you also will stumble for a little bit and be unable to move, which means that you can get hit. Anyways, the way we were going apparently won't lead us around. How do we get across there? How do we get across? Gods, it's like right over there. Oh, maybe we can go through... Nope. Nope. There's a wall there. No? Can we go up and over this thing? I gotta remember to stop leaning forward so far. So that I can stay in the webcam proper. Yeah. Sorry for the largely uneventful uh, episode so far. You know what? Pause it. We're gonna pause it until I figure out how to actually get around to the other side there. You guys aren't here to sit and watch. Sometimes me. I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. Sitting Shut most up. Of the day was pretty nice. Mapping was even better. Oh, do not fight do not fight that thing until you've leveled up something, trust me. I made that mistake the last time. Okay, folks, so I figured out how to get around. Well, now that I was going entirely the wrong way. I've got just the thing. Okay, let's just pick this up. It how it's done. We got an aquatic magicite. And some tasty, tasty EXP. Ooh, dragon scales. Those sell really well. Anyways, we got another quest um, while we're doing this. This is the main, main quest. We need to set up camp for the evening. Hmm. Oh, and I need to restart that timer. This is going to be a long episode. Anyways, we need to set up camp for the evening because uh, far more dangerous, nasty baddies come out during the night. And, uh, oh, by the way, chest light. Ugh. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. If you uh, run for too long, Noctis will get tired and have to slow down for a little bit. Uh oh. Where are they? Where are they? I see ya. I see ya. Yeah! And I'm not certain, but I believe when the damage counter goes, turns yellow like that, that means you got a critical hit. Oh gods. One of these guys, huh? You must have disturbed him on accident. Come on, 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 come on. Yes, knocked him over. More damage, more damage. Pour it on, pour it on, pour it on. Yeah. yeah. There is a, also the uh, off-guard thing. I'm pretty sure you saw it there. Where, where uh, if you manage to strike an enemy at its weak points or when its guard is down, 
he will do additional damage. So that's pretty nice. Uh-oh. That would be an airship with more baddies on the way. Come on, die. Yep. Here they come. Okay. Screw you guys. Ow. That hurt. Okay. Come on. Down. Down with you. Come on. Stop. Stay down. Yeah. That's another thing that, uh, Pro uh, Prompto, I think his name is. I don't know. They don't actually refer to each other by their names a lot. They've got nicknames for one another. Uh, low on health. Low on health. Uh, Drain Blade. There we go. That's another cool little trick I figured out, is that you recover MP by striking your enemies. Yeah! Now, just for this flag-carrying son of a gun. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoa, did I miss him? I missed him. Come on. Uh, he never attacks, but lord, he takes a while. Largely because, you know, not, as you'll see here in a little bit, Noctis is actually not too leveled. I would count on that myself. Knocked. what do you say we check this out? What? Nice. What's that? What is that? There's hey, a thing. Take a look. Uh, what do you make of this, Noct? Oh. I think that those are uh, a trail of massive paw prints. Most likely, dead is lead into the woods. This way. Yeah. If the map's anything to go off. Yeah, but uh, we're not gonna go. We're not gonna go chasing a uh, behemoth just yet. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and rest. Oh, yeah. This is where they teach you to use the map. But uh, anyways, we're gonna. So yeah, tutorial interrupted us. So take yeah, a drink, everyone. Army? What the hell are they doing here? Looking for a fight. Wait Down again? To... Ah, Magitek troops, Solus, this Imperial cannon and fodder, programmed to rip out their own exploding hearts. Good lords. Well, they found one. That is morbid. <laughs> um. Another drink because. Yeah. Because why not? It inter interrupted me. Okay, let's see. Here we come! Ow. Okay, I guess the flag bearing asshole does do something. Green blade! Come on, come on! Fall, 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 fall! Ow! Okay, so this guy. Oh, I'm sorry I insulted you and your flag-wielding brethren. Sorry. Whoa. I saw the markers. I saw the markers. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, God, something ambushed us. Ah, damn it. I keep wasting my drain blade. I'm not hitting a thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Die. Ah, damn it! Didn't parry in time. There we go. I guess he just uh, he only attacks when you're ignoring him. If you keep focused on him, he doesn't have an opportunity to kick you. Pick up this shiny. Okay. Where are you? Come on, I know you. Let's go here. Dang, mister. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh-oh. Pronto is down. Pronto is down. He's not actually down, but we need to rescue him. He doesn't recover hit points when he's like that, and if he gets hit enough time, 
and he will he will be KO'd. And I think the only way Ah dang it, Pronto Prompto. That's the problem. Prompto is the gun wielder, and where are you? Where are you? Dang it. There you are. Ah. Come on, come on, come on. You're not getting off that easy. Cover. There we go. Come on. Oh, gods, and goblins joined in. Ow. Okay. Green blade. Ow. Ah, oh, dang it. Thankfully, that is not a game over. When a character's hit points fall to zero, they are in danger. Further damage will shorten their hit point bar. If Noctis' max hit points fall to zero, the game is over. You can use potions to refill the hit point bar. So, yeah. Okay, come on. I can't attack or do anything like this. And Prompto also got knocked down. Dang it, someone come help me. Prompto, hold your ground. Dang it, don't help Prompto. Help me. I'm the prince for crying out loud. There we go. Okay, Noctis does not recover hit points when in danger. Or if he remains in danger long enough, however, this the stars will save him. What the heck? Wait a minute, didn't I, didn't I off you guys already? There you go, dead. Okay, come on, come on. There we go. That's what I want to see. All right, and now don't have enough for Tempest. Thank you, Pronto, for slowing that thing. I still am not sure how you do that. Ah, dang it! together. I thought I was a goner. Okay, dragoon jump. Dang it! They were nowhere near. That's the annoying thing is that enemies, when low on hit points, will tend to fall back and try to try to pick you off from a distance or do hit and runs. Come on, die, die, die! Don't you run away from me! Again? How many more of them are going to show up? Oh, oh dang. You know what? Screw it. We're running. We're running. We're running. Let's get out of there. Let's get out of there. Okay. So we got a decent amount of EXP. What do you say we check this out? What? Nice. Okay, take a drink, everyone. Okay. And we are all out of time for today's episode, so oh, we're gonna to go ahead and set up. We're gonna go ahead and set up camp, finish up the episode. You guys, we will see you in the next episode. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'm gonna dangle it right down there. And uh, without further ado, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.